The biggest thrill after 25 years of, of being away from the country is just to be back in the country. For Pascal, returning to his homeland after a quarter of a century in exile is a dream come true. It's not time for killing, it's time for healing. It is time for creating and it is time for building. Thank you very much. He has come back to Burma to participate in the first international literary festival ever held in the country. I, I never thought that uh, I would be able to return to Burma or Myanmar as quickly as this, or well, in also very happy circumstance, especially attending this uh, festival gives me a chance to reconnect myself to other writers, activists and also relatives. Pascal comes from a small tribe in Shan State called the Kayan Padang. 24 years ago he left Burma for the UK and in 2002 he published his award-winning autobiography From the Land of Green Ghosts. The book focuses on growing up under military rule and his escape into exile after the 1998 uprisings. It was seen as controversial and has never been sold in Burma before now. For so long this was a society that was afraid of ideas. It was afraid of free expression. The fact that you have someone like Pascal, who was honoured abroad long before he was honoured in his own country, the fact that you have him coming here now and speaking openly about his experiences, it's a sign of intellectual maturity and a sign, I hope, of real freedom coming. The festival was attended by famous international writers and panels covered a wide range of topics from food to witnessing violence. For former dissidents like Pascal, to be able to speak on issues that would have been impossible to discuss publicly just two years ago with internationally renowned authors by his side marked the event as a milestone for freedom of speech in Burma. Funding came from local businessman Serge Pun and several organisations concerned with promoting free speech. It's very symbolic that it's happening now because I think that a lot has changed. Censorship has really changed in the past year. And, uh, and you know, gathering like this would have been possible you know, not so long ago. And now we have a lot of um, former political prisoners, dissidents, writing, today journalists, um, and mixing with it, like some of the great authors from around, around the world. Burma has one of the worst records for media freedom in the world. But the country's attitude is changing, and previously banned content is now available to everyone. The changes, there are many, uh, but on the surface I could see by reading uh, journals and papers here, choosing cartoons that describe um, the, the current situation more than two or three pages could explain. That kind of thing is really uh, uh, encouraging to. But despite the chance to witness positive change, for Pascal, returning to Burma has highlighted how far the country has to go and how much time the previous government has wasted. I find it exciting, but at the same time, I feel sad, you know, that um, it's, it's taken so many years to, to come to this normal situation. And I'm also thinking about other authors, uh, you know, home and abroad, whose books have been really uh, useful and powerful, not necessarily anti-government, who are banned. Although coming back to Burma has been a wonderful experience, Pascal recognises that it's not all good yet. But he has seen elements of the good in the changes in the country. Not least the fact he now has a chance to go back to his homeland and try and make a difference.